Welcome to Acklet's Explorer tool. In this video, we will explore how to use the Acklet Explorer tool to quickly analyze trends in political violence and demonstrations, conduct regional analysis, conduct deeper dives into event types and actors, and use metrics like event and fatality counts to assess conflict intensity. By the end of this tutorial, you will understand how to gather and interpret key data points to inform your research or decision making. Let's start by using the tool to explore data for Latin America. Let's say that we want to find out how many political violence events were recorded across each country in Latin America in 2024. To do this, we'll select event counts as our metric political violence as our event category, and filter for a custom date range of all of 2024. Then we'll set our region of interest to Latin America. Finally, we'll group the data by country to compare event counts between countries. After running the calculation, we can see the total number of recorded political violence events across Latin America, with Mexico standing out as having one of the highest counts. This indicates heightened conflict or unrest within the country and provides a starting point for further exploration. Now, let's narrow our focus to Mexico and ask some more specific questions to further explore the data. Let's find out how many political violence events were recorded by state in Mexico. We'll keep the same filters for event counts and political violence, but change the region to focus on Mexico. Let's group the data by state, the admin one level, to explore country-specific dynamics. After running the calculations, we can see that Guanajuato, Nuevo León, and Sinaloa are among the states with the highest number of events. This reflects ongoing challenges in these regions, such as organized crime territorial disputes. Next, let's find out how many fatalities ACLED records from political violence in Mexico per state. Let's switch the metric to look at fatality counts instead of event counts and run the calculation. Now we can see the total recorded fatalities from political violence in Mexico in 2024. While Guanajuato again appears at the top, the differences in rankings between event counts and fatalities between states highlight how event intensity varies. For instance, a state might have fewer events but a higher fatality count, suggesting more severe or large-scale incidents. For example, let's filter the data for Sinaloa State and group the data by time period, showing the data month to month. Here we can see that in late 2024, fatality counts in Sinaloa State increased significantly. The Explorer tool can help you identify trends like these by allowing you to filter and compare data over time, across regions, and by specific actors, offering insights into both emerging patterns and long-standing issues. To delve deeper, let's filter the results by specific actors, such as cartels or gangs, which ACLED classifies under the political militia actor type. This helps users understand the roles and behaviors of these groups, such as their geographical concentration and the nature of their activities over time, offering deeper insights into conflict dynamics. This can help users analyze which groups are most active or responsible for violence. We'll select event counts and actor types as an additional filter and focus on those associated with cartels and gangs by selecting political militias. And let's look specifically at Guanajuato State. Then we'll group the data by location to compare activity by location. The results provide a clear picture of where in Guanajuato organized criminal groups are most active and can be further analyzed alongside fatality accounts to assess conflict intensity. Let's shift our focus to civilian targeting events in Mexico. Understanding where civilians are most at risk can help organizations allocate resources for protection efforts. Let's find out where in Mexico civilians face the most frequent targeting by political violence. We'll filter for event counts and select the civilian targeting category. Let's maintain the date range of 2024 and group the data by state. 
After running the calculations, we can see which states recorded the highest number of civilian targeting events. This highlights areas where civilians may face heightened risks from violence. To deepen the analysis, let's filter by specific actors to identify the states where specific groups are driving civilian targeting events. From the tool, we can pull the actor list for the country selected and select the actors we are interested in. Let's find out where the CJNG Jalisco New Generation Cartel are driving civilian targeting events and let's group the results by state. We can see that ACLED recorded the highest number of civilian targeting events involving the CJNG in Michoacán in 2024, amid ongoing territorial disputes between organized criminal groups. Looking more closely at CJNG activity, we may be interested in exploring what types of violence are most frequently used by the group. To do this, we can group the data by event and sub-event types. Let's filter for all political violence events in Mexico involving the CGNG and group the data by sub-event types. Here we can see that the most frequent sub-event type involving the group is armed clashes, followed by attacks against civilians. We can further group the data by time period to get a better picture of the group's activities throughout 2024. Here we can clearly see that CJNG activity increased significantly in July 2024, particularly with armed clashes and attack events, following the June 2024 national elections. These types of insights gleaned from the tool can inspire further questions to explore by accessing the full dataset and engaging in deeper analysis using the data and asking critical questions about the underlying drivers of violence. The Explorer tool also allows you to download the results as a CSV file or save charts as images. For more information on ACLED's methodology, please visit our knowledge base. You can find access and use guides, methodology documentation, including ACLED's full codebook, region-specific methodology, and more. Thank you.